All right, I want to move on to some other issues now, particularly your fight against wokeness. Uh, I'll introduce it with a little video I showed last week. Have a look. Our obsession with so-called climate change is weakening our energy independence and strengthening China's. Perhaps that's the point. The reality is that our obsession with wokeness is making us weak and our enemies know it. We must cancel wokeness and start calling it out for what it is, a threat to our stability, our prosperity and our dignity. Wokeness equals weakness. I do love the slogan. I love a bit of alliteration. Wokeness equals weakness. It's so true, especially when it comes to energy policy and how hurting our economy actually helps China. Yeah, it's, it's spot on. I shouldn't be laughing. I, those things started off being laughable. We've all spent the last 10 years or so laughing them off. But I think we are at that point now where they're no longer laughable. This is actually causing us harm. And climate policy, climate alarmism uh, is exactly that. We're seeing it now with our energy security, the cost of energy going up. And in the meantime, China are doing quite the opposite. They're turbocharging their coal-fired power. So uh, this is a problem now. All right. Well, I'm not going to skip the obvious one here because I agree with just about everything you say on wokeness. But you, of course, say the voice is woke. I say it's something different and practical. But you reckon it's woke. A lot of our viewers will agree. Let's have a look at this part of the video. <laughs> Sections of our community have become obsessed with policies that weaken and divide us. As an example... The voice to parliament is yet another indulgence in the identity politics, critical race theory, social engineering agenda, which promotes victimhood. Well, there you go. As you know, I support the voice, but uh, that's a view a lot of people agree with. They think it's come into this woke agenda. I've got to say, it, it first became an idea a dozen years ago before we had this woke push, but there's no doubt it's landed right into this era of identity politics and wokeness. It's yeah. probably going to hurt the yes case, as you would say. Yeah, look, look I think so. And, like, I stand by that. I, I've, I've been a long-time uh, detractor of the concept of the voice uh, probably for the last 12 months. I've been publicly saying that. So, uh, look, I, I do. I do think that. And, uh, look, I, I, I think ultimately, um, you know, we, we've got to get serious about uh, the issues that are really out there. We're talking about cost of living, mortgages and energy prices. These are the things Aussies want to hear about. Spot on. Thanks for joining us, Alex. Thanks, really Chris. appreciate it. Alex Antic there, Liberal Senator for South Australia.